Hello everyone. In this series of episodes, I am discussing about what is mindfulness training. Write down this word, distractions. In the next couple of minutes, I am going to discuss a very important topic relevant to mindfulness training. As you are listening to me, tell me honestly whether your mind is fully engaged in listening to what I am speaking about. Your mind is distracted. There are two types of distractions. Emotional distractions and sensory distractions. Emotions like feelings, anger, irritation, happiness, frustration, disappointment, expectations. Right? There are many types of emotions. When we are engaged in doing something, our emotions distract us. We may think about something which happened yesterday or somebody who did something wrong to us or upcoming events and our feelings associated with that, our emotions associated with this are emotional distractions. The other distractions are sensory distractions. We have five senses, our eyes, our nose, our taste buds, our hearing and our feelings. What we see, what we hear, what we taste, what we feel, what we smell also lead to distractions. So, our distractions are sensory or emotional. The more we are focused, the less distractions we have. The more attention we practice, the better will be the quality of our work. Just imagine what should be the quality of concentration of a cricketer who is facing a ball which comes to him maybe at 150 kilometers per hour in a fraction of a second. And in that fraction of a second, you should concentrate on the ball which is coming to him. Contemplate where it is going to land, how it is going to land and what will be the field placement, what should be his speed of deflection, direction of deflection. If he has to remain in the batting field, just imagine the concentration quality. Similarly, a chess player, how much concentration he should have. So, the more we focus, the better will be the quality of anything that we do. It applies not only to sports, but also in education or any field. There is a statistic that says, when we read a book, our mind wanders about 20 to 40 percent away from the content of our reading. On a normal day, our mind wandering is about 50% of the time, which means that if a child is studying, let us say, 4 hours, 40% of the time, the child is not concentrating. This is where I was mentioning about the available time and the productive time. Mind wandering is the enemy to focus. Unless and until we teach our children how to deal with mind wandering, we are not going to help them to do justice for the time they spent on studies. 
ask yourself a question now what are you doing and what are you thinking so we need to go through what is called attention gym as i said gym is the place where we go to build muscles and burn unnecessary flesh attention gym is a place or a process where we do the same thing we remove unnecessary thoughts and entertain productive thoughts and so mindfulness training is a state achieved by focusing on one pointedness on only one thing that i will uh, focus for an extended period of time mindfulness training is a process by which we are able to condition our mind to focus on only one thing at a time after dealing with all the other thoughts after banishing with all the other thoughts this mindfulness training is required not only to students but everybody the benefits of mindfulness training are it improves your attention it decreases job burnout even a child feels frustrated how many hours should i work it improves sleep and it improves some of the health related issues like um, cholesterol diabetes tension stress blood pressure so mindfulness training will help you to conserve your energy work less turn more it will help you to work smart and not hard please subscribe to the channel if you have not already and press the bell button and share these episodes to some of your friends and relatives please post your comments in the comment box and i will try to answer see you in my next episode